would you rather be sunburnt forever or covered in aloe vera gel forever? Maybe sunburnt forever because I like the colour pink and I don't like being sticky. <laughs> yeah, constantly red, kind of a vibe. Hi, I'm Peach and you might know me from TikTok or from my music and I'm going to be doing my makeup with BuzzFeed Oz today, having a chat. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Would you rather be able to speak to your dog or be able to read your dog's mind? Speak to my dog for sure. I would love to just have a chat with him. I do anyway, but he doesn't understand. Your pink eyebrows are kind of a thing. Like, how did that start? Everyone on TikTok kept telling me to do it. And I was like, no, I'm not having pink eyebrows. But then I did it and I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, it's kind of cute. And now it's just a thing. I love it. I use liquid lipstick. Would you rather have a pouch like a kangaroo or chlamydia like koala <laughs> for the rest of your life? Um, let's try the pouch, I reckon. <laughs> I think I'd rather a pouch than an STD, but that's just me. What would you put in your pouch? Chlamydia. No. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be a stripper. What is something you really liked about that and something you didn't like so much about it? I really liked like the sisterhood of it. Like all the girls that I work with, they're all really sweet and supportive and we all kind of like build each other up and look out for each other. And I didn't like the men. <laughs> you do come across people that don't really understand boundaries sometimes when you're in a place like that. I think a misconception is that we're all like very hypersexual. I mean, some might be, but it's not been my experience with me and a lot of strippers I know. I think quite the opposite. A lot of us are very vanilla. <laughs> we're very much just like, we're just there to entertain and dance and people perceive it as a very like sexual kind of raunchy thing, which it can be, but it's not who we are outside of work. How did you get into makeup? I actually had a like certificate in makeup and I used to be a makeup artist full time before I started stripping, but I stopped showing up to my shifts. <laughs> And I was like, see you later, I'm gonna go get naked. Would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? I think when, so then I can like know how much time I got prepared. I don't think I wanna know how because that would make, give me so much anxiety. I'd just be like, any day now it's gonna happen. <laughs> but if I know when, then I've got time to prepare. Because I kind of just do everything spontaneously. I, if I plan things too much or like have too many goals, <laughs> I'll let myself down. But then it's good because it's like a surprise when good things do happen because I'm like, wow, I didn't even plan that. <laughs> How did you get into music? I used to do like talent shows and audition for things like Australian Idol and X Factor and did get on any of that's okay. <laughs> that's kind of just what I've always wanted to do. Love singing, love writing. Do you think TikTok's given you more confidence? TikTok has given me so much confidence. Like I didn't even know that people thought that I was funny or interesting until I was on there and I was like, really? I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. I started it because I just find it really funny and I loved being on there. And I've always wanted to do like YouTube or something, but I just never did because I didn't have the confidence. And then after a while I was just like, why do I care? Like, I just want to yell. I just want to go on the internet and get all these thoughts out of my head. So I just did. When I started to get a following, I was like, oh, this is so cool. Now people can find my music if they want. What's the best and worst comment you've gotten on TikTok? I think the best is when, when people say like, I love your vibe, like I love your energy. I'm like, that's so nice. Like it's so nice to hear somebody compliment like something unique to you and personal. Like it's such a sweet compliment. I don't really get a lot of negative comments, but it does bug me when people tell me to go to bed. <laughs> that's like my least favorite comment. I'm like nocturnal. I literally sleep at like 8 a.m. It's so bad. That's why I like, at four in the morning, people are like, go to bed. I'm like, I just woke up. <laughs> Would you rather be able to only wear wet socks for the rest of your life or never be able to take off your bra? Um, I don't even wear socks, so... And wet ones? I don't know. I don't wear a bra either. <laughs> I don't know. I guess a bra. Wet socks? I feel like you'd get, like, some kind of trench foot or something from that. You are quite open about your mental health on TikTok. Was that sort of an intentional decision or just something that kind of happened? It just kind of happened. Because I didn't even realise that that was something that is like kind of taboo to talk about. I don't know anyone that's not mentally ill. It's kind of just how I've always been. And I've always been a bit of an oversharer, so that's just kind of how it happened. I talk about things mostly once I've kind of overcome them or like once I've kind of got in a better headspace. Usually when I'm like in the middle of something, I'll try not to talk about it because I'm not coming from a very clear headspace. And I don't want to ever like glorify it. When I started talking about all my mental health problems and people would message me or like they would comment and be like oh my god like I experienced this too and I feel so much less alone now seeing you talk about it and it makes me feel less alone that other people say that because I wasn't aware that so many people relate. What animal is the worst? Like what do you think should exist? Monkeys. Abominations honestly I think. <laughs> they're just wrong like they're just don't, I'm gonna get too worked up. I feel like we've moved past monkeys. Like, 
didn't we evolve beyond them? I don't get it. Like they're just so they're so scary. They're too human-like for me. Just bad vibes with monkeys. How did you get to the pink? All of your makeup's pink. All of your hair's pink. I just really love pink, and I always have. And my mum, growing up, everything she had was pink. Like our house was pink. <laughs> Her room was pink. She loves pink. And then I guess I just kind of, yeah, just copied her. Try not to laugh while I'm playing mascara. What's your process for writing music? Sometimes I'll like hear a sentence or I'll like hear a phrase or a word. I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. And I'll put it in my notes. And then later on when I go to like sit down and write a song, I'll go through what I've had in my notes. I'll kind of form a song around that. Like get my guitar and like play the only four chords that I know and just start singing over it with some words. <laughs> that's kind of the process. the dog hairs out of my eyelashes. How long have you had your dog for? He'll be turning four this year. He's the first thing I bought with my stripper money. <laughs> yeah, my first ever like week's pay. I went and got a dog. I didn't even have a house. I was like homeless and went and bought a dog. It was the best thing I ever did. Well, I think I'm done. So finally, what's one thing you wish people knew about you that they don't know? I don't know, because I'm such an oversharer that I just tell everyone everything. There's not really much people don't know, but I don't know if people don't know it, but maybe that I just try to be as genuine as possible. So anything that people see of me, like any of my TikToks or music is all coming from a very like genuine place of, you know, from my heart. I think that's maybe what I'd want people to know. <laughs> my hands are like covered in like glitter. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm just so nervous. <laughs> and I'm like, voguing. <laughs> Hello?